Okay, guys, um, I know that our channel has been going real downhill lately because, because, um, I got pregnant and I had to give birth and it's taken a lot out of me. So, for a channel yeah, update, we're, for a channel update, we're gonna do some ASMR. So, right here with me, I have a Coke Zero, Zero Sugar to be exact. Mm, I have, good. it's been so long since I've had a real Coke, so I don't know if this tastes like shit or not. It probably does compared to real Coke, but I do not know. So I'm going to take a sip of this, and I'm going to do a little bit of an ASMR. Are you guys ready? Okay. <sighs> do you mean um, tapping the can? Yeah, yeah. Do you, do you have a drink, Mo? Do you have a yeah, drink? I got it. I got it. I got Gatorade. You want to try some? Yeah, let me, yeah, try, let some me try some of that. Yeah, let me try some. Let's try each other's. Okay. All right. Same time. Here we go. Oh fuck! Oh, oh my pussy. That's this. This is pretty good. I like that. Oh, that shit's so good. Mm. You know, the reason the reason we're um showing this on the podcast, guys, is because we don't even give no fucks. We're rebels, bro. Yeah, we're rebels. Yeah, uh, I'm so much of rebel that I uh that I actually laced his. I, I laced my drink with uh anti-pregnant. Actually, I put uranium in the in the drink. I'm mean, into it. <laughs> You're gonna say no, anti not. anti pregnant medicine. An anti pregnant medicine. I put uranium in the basically Mer uranium and mercury. Uh, basically, your baby's dead now. So um. Oh my God! I got anti pregnant medicine. <laughs> and it's the fucking it's a fucking tragedy. Okay, what's up, guys? Well, wh what the fuck is up, Nyan Nation? Welcome back to the podcast, the fucking greatest podcast of all time. <gasps> what? The Hell yeah, dude. A fucking podcast. Totally not a fucking oversaturated realm of fucking content. And we're back again. Back on this lovely... What day is today? Is it midnight? It's, no, it's yeah, not. It's, it's, it's midnight. It's Friday, <laughs> it's Friday it's May 7th. <laughs> yeah, because it's because we were supposed to record earlier, but Mo was fucking doing so. Oh, no, you were setting up your new mic or whatever. Yeah, I was setting up my new mic. How How is it, guys, by the way? Uh, yeah, you, you, can. you, you can't you can't answer, but that, it's. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you can comment below if it sounds like shit. I mean, that'd be kind of mean, but maybe I've been probably. told I've been told that from a viewer of mine, which is uh, one, which is one of our friends that watches it. Uh, I I made out with this person, of course, but like he's he's he told me on his thoughts on the on the Nylon Media channel. He said um, <clears throat> he said it's both his words, not mine. His both. Influx information and influx of lack of information. Like, <laughs> I don't know what that means. I don't know Appa what that means apparently, appa apparently, it's not possible either, so... I feel he doesn't like, know what it means either, so... It's... I feel like that's a Joe Rogan podcast, because he talks about a lot of stuff, but doesn't know a lot of and stuff. And that's what podcasts I'm... are, like, just, like, uh... Like, people just talking. I think nobody... I think I mentioned this before in the first episode of Nyan Media. Nobody wants podcasts. Like, nobody wants pod more podcast channel we just do it because like um why do we do this because uh, it was your idea and we said fuck it we're gonna be billionaires we're gonna be billionaires we're gonna be we're gonna make so much youtube revenue from our ads and sponsors money, that money, we totally money, get money, 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 money. this episode is sponsored by audible get a get a get a yo we cannot we cannot we cannot do that we, we can't do that that's you oh, can yeah, get no. some legal shit apparently oh yeah. shit okay we are not okay but to make it clear we are not sponsored by audible and we probably never will be we might be but probably not because we're not anyways <laughs> Yeah, anyway. Anyways, welcome back How? to the uh, welcome back day, to Noah? the fuck cast. My cat, my day was pretty fucking good, honestly. You know, I got yes. home from work. I really like my job. It's a lot of fun. It's not always fun, but it's I like it. It's a very fun. It's a very fun environment. I do. I'm happy right now. It's a good point. Yeah, in my life. we can't really uh, say so much information because um, that'd be compromise of your secrecy and your location. Mo, do you even know, you know where I work, right? Don't say it. Yeah, I know, I know where you work. It's like, um... Don't say like, it. Don't, don't, stop, 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 stop. I'm not gonna stop. say it, I'm not gonna say it. Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna message to you. I'm gonna message you. It, uh, you don't even it, need to do... I believe you. I know... Okay, fine, well, fucking... Well, yes, yeah, yes. Well, that's not exactly the name, but you have the, you have the basic idea. Yes, basic, that is where I work. Okay, yeah. But anyways, yeah, I so... Followed, I followed the Instagram page, by the way. You don't... You followed the Instagram page to, page to my work. Even I don't do that. 
I do because I want to because I care about you, Noah. Okay, uh, I well, care, care, we're gonna I move. Care about you. I want to see what you're advertise what you're selling. All right, I want to see how good is it. So far, they got some good meals. Like they got like um. Okay, well so, you're. Yeah. Okay. So, fine. I work at a restaurant. I'll say that I work in a restaurant, but that's all I'll say. All right. That's what's almost everywhere. They do have good shit though. I I will say yeah, it look, it's a, some good fucking. But, <laughs> but it's so diabetes diabetes di- diabetes. It's like uh, it's so fat. Almost inducing. every every good. almost every restaurant in America is fucking diabetic. Yeah. It's like is it is it an all you can eat restaurant or is it just like a no 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 no. It's like a regular restaurant. There's no buffet. Oh, yeah. I hate buffets. I would not work for a buffet, bro. Like uh, buffets bother me. Aren't they scrams like? Like scams, like they scam you technically. No, it's no, it's not a scam. It's actually kind of. I don't. I don't think so because you pay a one price to get unlimited food, and I know a lot of people will just go and kind of not steal food, but they'll just like take it in a bunch of boxes so they can eat it later, which is kind of a smart my, move. Uh, my my mom when we were kids, when I was a kid, she we used to go go Golden Corral. This this area, I'm pretty sure there is multiple areas. We used to we used to go to Golden Corral and. Uh, after when we eat, she she just take a chicken bone, <laughs> she just take a chicken a uh, chicken drum and keep it in her in in a napkin and put it in her uh, put it in her um put it in her purse? purse yeah her purse yeah she put it in her purse and then we had like we had to like apparently I I I would do that I would not I would kind Wait. of do that I like because we were poor at the time we still are but like we were really poor at the time and it was like rare of why us would to she go keep a it. chicken bone I don't know, like. Like not a chicken bone, like a like a drumstick. Like an oh, dr- bro. Okay, you're making it sound like she just took the bone and just brought it home. <laughs> what do you think we were gonna do with the fucking bone? Like uh, like rituals? <laughs> like just like. Mo, we will we will, use, we will we will chew on this. We will we will fucking chew on this for <laughs> substance. To our gods. Yeah, no, I think back when I used to be really fucking poor too. I mean, I'm still I still kind of am, but like we would um I think. What's that program where you get free food from like grocery stores or whatever? Yeah, like food stamps. Yeah, food stamps. We would do like. We food never stamps had those. But I don't know. Like I don't know why. I never knew the existence of free stamps. Like I had to middle school. Like I. I didn't know what they were. Like I know yeah. we collected them in elementary school, but I had no idea what the fuck they were for. Are, are you talking about box tops or like what? I actually don't know. It's just some fucking thing where we got really free or really 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 discounted food. Oh yeah, yeah. It's like, like back in elementary time. school and middle school, I got I think I got free lunch actually. Like we had there was this program where you could sign up to get free lunch oh, or something. Oh yeah, yeah, like yeah. We we did the same thing in middle school. They had the same system kind of in place in middle school. Yeah, no. And it's, I actually don't I don't think I ever had lunch debt because of that because um I always got it for free or something. And one yeah. time this kid fucking mooched it off of me because like he put something on my um on my tray, and he said, yo, can, can you uh, carry this for me? And at the time, I was really naive, so I was like, yeah, sure, bro, I got it. And then t- I went to the lunch lane, and she said, you're paying for that, right, right, sweetie? And I was like, wait, no, I'm fucking carrying it. And she said, oh, you, ju- you just you just got scammed, boy, I gotta have to charge you for that. I was like, god damn. What? Yeah, yeah no, I, and, she, she, she and then I gave, it, I gave it to you, and I said, Jesus, dude, did you make me pay for that? And he said, yeah, bro, and then he just walked away. Like, okay, dick. At least I'm not paying for it, but jeez. What an asshole. What did it, like, yeah, bro. Bro, there's some about it? fucking assholes back in, I forgot. Oh my god, yeah. oh wait. Oh, bro, I'm unlocking some new memories for myself. Okay, so I've lived in a lot of places. Mm. And for in this one pl- state I lived in, uh, I'm not going to say. I mean, I could. I probably could, but whatever. And it's like the middle school started at fifth grade. Mm. So um, I was at fifth grade in middle school. I forgot that. What the fuck? It's weird. But yeah, no, I was already in middle school in fifth grade. grade. And I th- yeah, and I think this kid was a lot older than me, like in eighth grade. And I think, what's the, how old are you in fifth grade? Like, really fucking young, right? Yeah, it's like, uh, you're like, you were like, um, I don't know, it was, uh, before, it was before sixth grade, so you were like, uh, around 12? <laughs> That's true, it was before sixth grade. 12. I think oh, it was 12. I think I was 11 or 12. Yeah, I was 11 or 12, and some kid who was like 15 or 16 made you fucking buy this for him. Like, you fucking bum. Anyways. Yeah, I know. Yeah, me, me and this kid have beef. I'm gonna go beat him up now. Actually, I have no idea where he's. You gotta go to beat the shit out of him. I'm gonna go fuck okay. the shit out of him. I'm gonna beat the shit. Hold on, you're back, back. God fucking damn it. Uh, there's a reason why we keep our doors locked, right, guys? Okay, I guess we're recording again. Hi, so sorry about that. I don't know why Mo fucking had to leave for a second. Um, I genuinely fucking hate people who don't know 
how like why the doors are locked. There people lock doors for a reason, right? Who was it? Was it closed. was it your uh, brother? Yeah, it was my brother. Like how do you he was like not you could hear it right in the background? Like no, I, didn't hear, I, I didn't hear anything. He was like knocking so fucking loud, he's about to kick in the door like, for some stupid ass shit. He asked me where the fucking where his where his charger is. It's annoying as hell. Oh my god! Literally every time our cast gets interrupted, it's because somebody needs a charger. I'm gonna beat this shit. It's like I'm your dad. It was your dad last night. Now it's your brother. brother. They're all like, "Where's the charger? Give me the charger." It's like, bro, my dad. My dad did the same. Th yeah, I said this. Like, my dad did the same thing last time. Like last fucking cast. I'm not even joking. <laughs> He's like, "Mo, I need a charger. Give me a charger." God damn it! Why? Why me? I don't have a fucking charger! <laughs> I don't own a phone. It'd be so funny if Mo didn't own a phone and we're actually, like, in the bio of our channel. I think in the bio of our channel it says homeless kids. What if we actually were homeless kids and we're recording this in the dumpster? We might as well be. <laughs> we, 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 just steal, we just steal, we just steal fucking shit from, uh, from a studio. If we ever, if we ever record, like, a real-life version of this, we should just find a fucking dumpster and just record it in there. Like, just be like, hey guys, hey, today we're recording audio, from like, a dumpster. Yeah, like, encap encapsulate the fucking sound booth, like, just, like, the sound, so you won't escape. Exactly. It'd make, it'd make, it'd make for some great audio. Uh, honestly, it would. Like, I've never, have you ever been in a dumpster? No, but I just assumed that, like, I've been in a trash can a few times. Been a tr yeah, tra yeah, a trash can. We've been I, when I was a kid. Yeah, like <laughs> we went in time. trash cans all the time when I was little. Not all the time, but like this one time when I was fooling around in elementary school, my my a kid bet me like to jump into a trash can. I was like, I, right. <laughs> yeah, so I just I jumped in. <laughs> no, I would go in by choice. I forgot what the context was. I think it was with my friend. I was like, bro, should I go in the trash can? And he was like, yeah, it's like, okay. Then I just I just went inside the trash can. It's fucking weird. Yeah, I, I don't know when that was. I think I was in middle school, bro. I was at my peak fucking weird weirdness in middle school. Yeah, um, everyone was weird to be, to be honest. Everyone was like a bit weird. Yeah. Everyone was hyper. Everyone was. Angry. I remember one everyone time. Was... I mean, I remember one time he and two other friends were walking home, and um, throughout the neighborhood, for whatever reason, we were playing this game where like, okay, there were three of us, so two of us stuck together, and the other person kept. Yelling, and we wanted to see how far they could go where we could still hear them. So we were like, Hey! And they were like, Hey! And they kept going farther and farther away. And we were being so loud that multiple people, like, looked outside the door and were just staring at us. <laughs> and I think they were just waiting for us to shut the fuck up. <laughs> and looking back, that was actually pretty obnoxious. We were wild. I was wild. Have ever seen that? Ever seen that tweet? Like, ever seen that tweet where that guy says, "We used to break into people. We used to break into our parents, uh, our mother's room, and then we used to suck their titties. We were maybe we were a child, and then, they, and then he follows it up with, "We were, bro, we were wild when we did that. <laughs> when, we, when we were six. and like, and, the, and it just there's a thread of comments just going like, "We, what are you talking about? We, you fucking maniac, <laughs> bro, that's you, bro. That's you. Yeah, I what do you mean, that. we?" Leave us out of it, bro. Like, yeah, yeah we. Speaking oh, of, um, speaking of kids, you wanted to talk about a kid. A f oh yeah. Why did you leave that as fat bitch kid? That's so mean. Okay. <laughs> so for every po if you guys don't know, for every podcast, we like to type out the topics we do on Discord. So usually Mo will shout them out, and I'll type them in Discord, and I usually give them stupid names. And when Mo told me about what he wanted to talk about, I just called it fat to bitch kid. Why would you do that? So mean. Like well, I don't know who this kid is. Like I'm sorry. I just thought it'd be why? funny. Why? Like, I didn't even say he was fat. I just called him a kid. I called him the beast. Is he's the beast? He's well, Joseph. When, I, when you when you said beast, I figured okay, this kid's probably bigger. The beast. Okay, maybe that's maybe that's really bad. Okay, I'm sorry. That was that's that's bad. I'm you call people fucking. You call you call fat people monsters. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry. I didn't, I didn't mean to say <laughs> what that. What the hell's wrong with you? Oh my okay, God. let's watch. Let's let, let's watch the six minute, uh, six minute uh, video where what? it's just him talking about. Um, no, his name is bro, Joseph. We're not gonna watch it. We're we have watch to watch it, like, dude. It feels not the like the podcast. It, we have to. Like, I said, we. Ha oh, hey man, we have to. I told bro. you we gotta do this. I, I, I'm gonna edit this fucking po video and I will. I will show the viewers. They're, they're gonna be watching with us. All right. No, that's not gonna work. That's literally just stealing somebody else's video. 
uh, no, it's not someone else's video. Like he, it's his video. Oh, fuck, I don't want to watch a six-minute video during the podcast, bro. It's not gonna make for good content. We, ha- we, ha- it makes for good t- content because we. Bro, do you use we pa- Bing? We you pa- use Bing? We pause. We, p- we pause. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm using Bing right now. Uh, we pause. Um, we pause each time when we want to make a commentary about this nigga. Wait, 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 bro. I have an idea. I have an idea. I have an idea. All right, all right. Let's How about let's save this. Do a separate video on it where we just react to this video. You sure? That'd be funny. All right, all right. Let's. Let's but just say six it. minutes, so it's not gonna make. It's not gonna be very long. Though. Well, if we make our commentary, it could be like a ten-minute video. I mean, shit. All of our videos on this channel are so all right, fucking we long. We have It'd to be like nice watch to have, like, a, a comp- short. We we have to watch a compilation of, of videos so, like. Yeah, for I mean whatever I mean not a, not every fucking video that we make has to be like fucking ten hours long. All right, all right. So we're gonna say we're gonna put that we're gonna shove that in my ass and save it for a rainy day. It's really day. good. It's it's the beast. He's basically like Chris. He's like the polar opposite of I think I mentioned this before. Now can you can you, you explain that. who he is? Because I'm curious now. Okay, he's like the he's like the polar opposite of Christian. He does have Asperger's and, and he's basically. Uh, He's, yeah, I, I, yeah, he's basically autistic, and, uh, he's like Chris Chan, but, like, he's polar opposite, like, <laughs> Chris Chan's like a Superman, but, like, this guy's like Batman, like, they're exact opposites. Chris Chan advocates for women's rights, this guy's a, a piece of shit. Oh, he's an incel? The, like, where the world's in time, like, he, he mentions, he mentions, like, the fact about how, um, how women should date fat people, like, how it should be, women should date more people like him because they can't control it and then he goes on right afterwards to call women some women ugly like he would never date a fat he would never date a fat woman he would never date an ugly woman there's a lot of guys like that that he's so hypocritical like it's amazing to me how he thinks he's right who would have thought a person who isn't mentally all there would have strange views huh I, <laughs> I feel so bad i feel so bad for him but I, i'm so like I'm, I'm not i'm not making fun of him don't don't get me wrong but like I'm actually. Like, I mean, I'm okay. So if he's, I feel like I'm interested can, in this guy. We can make fun of him a little bit if he's like being sexist. What I'm making fun of him, but yeah, we can make fun about the part where he he's, he's sexist. But I'm not like what I'm saying is like he's interesting to me. Like that's this guy is interesting to me. Like that's like there's kinda a lot like of Christian, right? There's a lot of weird people in the area that are just interesting to me. Interesting, right? It's like, I think the I'm first really person busy. I really got into, and I don't, I don't want to say got into, but one of the first people like I kind of became fascinated with was like Elliot Roger. You know who that is? Oh yeah, the Elliot Roger. I think yeah. Elliot Roger is a perfect example of how looks are not, uh, don't mean anything, in my opinion. He looks handsome as fuck. Like, bro, no, Elliot Ro- If you guys don't know, Elliot Roger was in one of the first few like famous incels on the internet. You probably do know who he is, but he was an incel and he was always making videos about why don't women like me when I'm so rich and beautiful and hot. And one He's day rich. he, yeah, bro, did you not see his parents were rich? Like apparently, like he was pretty rich. I think he lives in California too. But apparently, but yeah, no. And he actually fucking shot up a college campus and fucking shot himself yeah. after he did it. And um, yeah, but yeah. By a car or something like that. I don't think. I think he crashed his car to kill himself. I think. I'm oh, pretty yeah, sure he yeah. killed himself. Yeah. But anyways, yeah. So he's one of the first like OG incels. And what's so interesting? I don't say interesting. I'm not encouraging. This guy's a fucking dickhead, prickhead, bro. Fuck this guy. But what's kind of interesting about him is that he's like handsome as hell. Like he's a very handsome man. And I think this is just proof that it's personality that matters. But you guys, he's not, he's not really, ha- like, very, very fucking handsome, like, where you just cum your pants and so you see him. But, like, I don't he's know, like, he's um, a fucking handsome guy. He's like, he has a chiseled face. He's like a really chiseled face. Like, he's got a nice lips, nice eyes, nice yeah, nose. Per- yeah. He's a handsome That's- boy, but he's such a mm-hmm. fucking creep, too. And it's like, yeah, no, it's it's like, if there's people... A, there's a story about him, about uh, how he went to a party and how he was pushed off a roof. Or something like that. <laughs> what the fuck, off, really? He fell, he fell off a roof and he he had to walk home with his leg injured, ha- being bitter. I think that that I think that part was one of the leading factors to why he shot up the campus, like like the actual. That's fucking. Campus. That's really weird. Because that that incident in that party, like where he has to sit. Ever seen those memes where like uh, the those Wojak memes where it sh- which shows them just standing in the corner like. They don't know this, this, yeah. this, or this about me. Yeah, think of that, but like, they don't know I'm like, they don't know. They I'm don't know I'm Elliot Roger. 
Yeah, they don't know I'm Elliot Rod. It's Elliot Rogers, but he's standing in the corner, and it's him and Wojak, but he, he's saying they don't know I'm rich, famous, and cool. That sounds... And that's I, actually really and accurate. Handsome. Yeah, that's... <laughs> I, but I think that, he's. Yeah. I really think, if, uh, fellas, if any men are watching, or even women, don't go out and think that looks are everything, because they mean very, 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 very little. They might help sometimes in like making a good first impression, but if somebody talks to you and you're a fucking creep or you're a fucking weirdo, they're not gonna like you, no matter how. If you're an sexy ugly you person on the, I mean, if you're an ugly person on the inside, then yeah, then no one's gonna fucking talk to you. That's I feel like especially, it about especially for women, women don't like guys that are just handsome. I feel like women in general prefer personality a lot more. From I don't what know, I've seen. man. Like, so, I'm, I'm guessing some do. Kind of like it's how just, guys. It's, just, it's uh, usually guys all prefer. the like. It's all the men that like always boast about having such a hot girlfriend when clearly their relationship is really bland. But I don't know. I see like. I think, yeah, no, but I, think I see beautiful women with both... like uh, ugly ass boyfriends. It's like yeah, no. Nah, I think it goes for both genders. Like it's like. It, it like, does. I'm just. I don't know. I'm kind of generalizing. I'm okay. It's more. It's more in men. Are you saying like it's more in men? Than, than men? I think. I just think women care about looks a lot less from what I've seen. I, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I think my, my point is that uh, people don't care about looks in general. Like, if you have a shitty personality, you're irredeemable. You also you don't have you can't stutter. So if you if you have a you speech can, impediment, then you, <laughs> you can get the you fuck can off. stutter. You can stutter. No, I, you cannot yeah. stutter, Noah. If you stutter, actually, I mean, I'm, it's gonna get. Uh, I don't want I don't want I don't want people who uh, who watch her who watch her videos who happen to stutter feel bad. <laughs> I stutter sometimes. It's, it's a joke. It's a joke. I'm joking. I'm. Jo it's a joke. All right. I'm not. I'm not serious. It's a joke. It's okay. a joke. For our stutter, our stutter viewers. It's a don't joke. Worry. There are some hot people who stutter, Dumb bro. Piece of shit. Really? There are some people. <laughs> yeah. I mean. Yeah. Really? <laughs> what? I I didn't know. What the fuck? <laughs> we uh no. <laughs> what are we talking about? You were talking about Elliot Rogers. Elliot Rogers. Yeah. No. Ellie Rogers is just such a fucking weird case study, bro. If you wanna Shmoo. look into him, like Jesus. I remember one time when I I had this old meme account that got deleted because I don't know. Or did I get deleted? I don't know. I think it's private. This at least. meme account? No, it only had like 12 followers, and it always it was only like my few close friends that followed it. And this was like way back when. I remember making a meme where it was like <laughs> I pretend. <laughs> I did like you know those like on Twitter those people who make the notepad apology posts. Uh, yeah, I fucking did that, but as Elliot Roger, and on the net, and I ended it with, "Okay, guys, I'm sorry for shooting up that campus. From now on, I'm going to be a good citizen and start a new channel." And the next slide on the post was <laughs> Elliot Roger gaming. <laughs> I feel like that's. I feel like that's. It was very in poor taste, but I thought it was very funny. I'm sorry. That's, that might be bad. Elliot Roger gaming. Imagine Elliot. Imagine Elliot Roger playing Among Us. Oh, that's bad. Oh fuck! I dropped my shit. Oh god. <laughs> Elliot Roger plays Among Us Part 10. <laughs> guys, guys if, you don't, if you don't stop voting me, I'm gonna I'm gonna kill you all. I'm, I'm actually gonna kill you. Bro, his commentary would be like, I will slaughter all of you in Among Us. <laughs> My father owns 10 businesses. My you don't father think owns, he owns 10 your businesses. House? He owns your house. I will slaughter Red. You are sus. I will slaughter the sus one. All the women who've disrespected me represent those who are sus in this Among Us game. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> it'd be, okay, it'd be so funny if we titled this episode Elliot Roger Gaming, but I don't think we can. I think that would get taken down. Oh no, we cannot do that. We cannot. Okay. Is this oh, too this far? So are we, she, like, yeah, are we going too far right now? This is so dark. This is so shit. Like, we're just making fun of. Oh, okay. It's Guys, okay to make fun, bro. It is okay don't be to make Elliot fun of Elliot Rogers. Yeah, no, don't. No. Sometimes I value don't. isolation. Like, like if I was isolated like Elliot Rogers, which I hope it doesn't come to that, where I have to like be hated by everyone else. Uh, but I think I value. 
Mo has cancer. <coughs> Mo has lung cancer. Mo has lung cancer. <coughs> what was that? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, sometimes I value isolation in, in the sense that like I can just be like happy like by myself. Like you know, you know you can you're at peace. You don't have anything to worry about. Mm -hmm. Like isolation, pure isolation, just like just being by yourself at times. I'm not yeah. saying you, like for your whole entire life you're just isolated, like you're by yourself. But it's like equivalent to being on the seas by yourself, like like sailing or stuff like that. I get like, what you I mean. It's just cool. nice because it's comfort and solitude. Yeah, yeah. Actually, but here's the thing. Yeah? Here's the thing. Here's the thing about solitude and being. I don't know how to describe it. Being alone, it's kind of addicting when you think about it, especially for yeah. introverts. And, and I think that's what leads a lot of people to being antisocial, is that you're so comfortable in being alone and just being by yourself that you do it for so long where you forget how to socialize. So that's I think, where it gets unhealthy. Yeah, that, that part is it's where it gets unhealthy. Like, I, think like, being, um, I think being by yourself is okay. It's good to rest up and once in a while, especially as an introvert yeah. where you know social situations are kind of uncomfortable sometimes. But um, mm. if, if it's all you do, you're not gonna. it's going to be so hard for when you do have to go out. And that's yeah, what I mean, yeah. that's what happens with all these like incels or a lot of them because a lot same thing. Sorry. The, the thing about a lot of these incels is that they come from kind of well-off families that you know they're able to spoil them, like their parents are able to spoil them. So they grow up with a computer, they grow up with the internet at a very like, young it's age. They, it's basically yeah, they get delusional, they isolate themselves, and they get addicted to being isolated. Then they fucking group, join these alt-right groups and become incels and get fucking creepy and weird. I, at like, that point, it becomes unhealthy. Like. Not really into me, but like it's like um yeah. When you when you walk, it's like it's crippling. If you if you stay by yourself for too long, you will. It's very hard to step back into society and just be like a normal person. Like, it's so hard. Like think of it like uh, you know how we were uh, we were locked up for days and sh uh, like two years, like a year, a full on year. So, like, I've noticed like, huh? Yeah, like I've noticed during quarantine. Yeah, I've noticed like people. It's they have a. They have speech issues like like I do currently. So it's yeah, because like, um, they're just nervous more. They're they're nervous more, right? And they 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 avoid eye. Some of them avoid eye contact completely because it's like really hard to. Well, I think that's. Like, I think eye contact is naturally uncomfortable though. It's uncomfortable, right? But like usually they would just look at you. But when I when I talk to people, like they just look away. Like they just stare at the wall or like they're just staring at the floor or they're like staring away. Yeah. And I do the same thing. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. That's the thing. Like, it gets to the point where it's unhealthy. Mm -hmm. It's like, uh, actually, like, think of it, there's a thing going on in Japan. Like, it's like a, it's like it's it's actually documented into like a mental mental illness case. Like, uh, antisocial. Like, it's not. It's like yeah, I know what you're. It's like, it's like those disorder. hermits in Japan where they just stay in their rooms. Or are they called meats? Yeah. They call yeah, themselves meats. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like shut in disorder or stuff like that. Like yeah, that's kind of sad, honestly. Yeah. What's well, Maybe you that. know what's. You know what's interesting about that, though? What? Throughout, like, this whole coronavirus and, like, quarantine thing, I feel like... I don't want to say I'm more social, because I wouldn't say I am, because I can't be, because obviously I fucking... You know, I don't go to, really go to school anymore, so it's not... Mm -hmm. But I got a job, and I f I'm finding myself that I'm more talkative, and I want to talk more. And w what's interesting is that I've, I'm an introvert. I consider myself an introvert, very much so. But yeah, I think yeah. after after being an introvert and going through a long period of time where I'm not seeing a lot of people at all, not meeting any new people, I think I just got internally sick of it and now I just want to meet new people. And I don't think that's common, but I, I don't know, for me personally, like, I just want to talk to people more now. I mean, yeah, yeah. I'm not saying I'm like, like, I'm like, um, I don't know, like special social? or not special. Yeah, I mean, I mean, um, yeah, like, I get what you're saying, you're like, you're you, you said you were an introvert, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's that's it's, I think that's a part of a recovering stage. I mean, recovering. Like I don't know why I keep saying I mean. I mean, I, I'm talking about. I'm saying I mean constantly. I don't know. I mean, I said. Oh, oh my God! I just said too. I think we all say I mean a lot. But yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't know, bro. Like fucking whenever. Um. I don't know. I just think I'm just more eager to fucking get out and talk to people more. Like, I yeah. don't know. It's it's a weird thing, and I, I mean, it's good it's good honestly because you know it's good to talk to people honestly. Yeah. For a I long time. So. That I reminds me like, for for a long time you're right yeah. That reminds me uh today I went to take a graduation uh, 
graduation pick. I mean, uh, class of t class of. Yeah, your your yearbook pictures. pictures. My yearbook pictures, yeah. Oh hell yeah, yeah. Mo was gonna look it, sexy. It was weird, like it was really sur surreal in the sense, like it's like I haven't gone out for, since uh, since last year, and it was, it's super weird. At that point, you realize, holy shit, these past seven years, like the, the friends that you made along the way, like these past seven years since middle seven school. Seven years? Like, I've had friends. Oh, yeah. I've had, I've, I've had friends from middle school and, and then go on to, uh, with my, to my high school. Mm -hmm. It's super weird. Like, at that point, you know, holy shit, you're not going to be with him forever. Like, it's good. You're, you're going to go on your separate ways. Because, like, I'm moving to somewhere else. I'm moving to another city after graduation. I'm, like, I'm, I'm going to, you know, to another universe. It's super weird. Like, it's kind of sad, saddening. But I've, like, the thing is, it's super weird because I've always hated it's like, going. It's like bittersweet. Bittersweet, yeah. I've always, you... I've always, it's like bitter, bittersweet. Like, bitter to the second power sweet. <laughs> it's mostly bitter and slightly sweet. Slightly sweet. Well, what's, what's funny about that is that I recently went back to... Actually, I went back to school recently. Really? I went... Yeah, no, I went back to school to take a test. It had to... It was in-person only, and I, I was forced to go back. And it's like, I figured it would be bittersweet, because this was probably going to be the last time I would ever set foot into the school. So, I went in, I took the test, and I got out. And it was very... It was very bitter. It wasn't very sweet at all, honestly. Yeah. Like, it was nice to see people that I recognized, but, um... Maybe but it's Stockholm. Is that Stockholm syndrome? Is it what that falls into? No, that's that's, de that's definitely not what it is. I think what it is is just like for a long time I kind of forgot what real in-person school is like because of coronavirus. And when I went back, I think I was expecting I don't know something better. But when I did, I was like, oh yeah, no, I, now I remember why I didn't like this. And it's like, but it's it was kind of refreshing though because it's like, okay, now I know that I am probably kind of in a better place, kind of. And I'm past this now, and I'm mentally? about to be out of high school. Like, in mental state, or like better place. I do think I'm in a better. I'm de uh, yeah, no, I'm definitely in a better, better <clears throat> mental place than I was even before coronavirus happened. Because I was a lot more. I was definitely more insecure. I was definitely more. I don't know, shy. I was, but it's weird how fucking coronavirus changed this. Because for a lot of people, it was the opposite. But I don't know. I think it's just made me reevaluate a lot of things and work on myself a lot. I mean, that's I like, it's like it's like what I said. I think I mentioned this before, but I, what I appreciate about coronavirus is you know, it's like a re. re it's how it killed half a million people. No, no, no. <laughs> like one thing you could take out of this is like you you had a chance to reset. It's like a reset. Everybody, it's like meeting someone else, meeting someone new. Like everyone yeah. is stuff, right? Was, you release your insecurities. Like you release your insecurities. Everyone is the same. And it's an equalizer in the end. Like you just say, hey, hey, I'm this. This is me. This is who I actually am. Like yeah, it but takes off what's... your shell, your armor, and then this is like who you are in the inside. And in the end, it's really sweet because you all love each. Like I, when I went back, I loved everyone. Like at that, I hated everyone when I fucking when, when before Corona. But I just realized, holy shit, I need these guys to survive mentally because like this, these past months have been fucking terrible. Like it's been shitty to me. But like I've met I've met people that I never thought I would meet throughout my whole life, but it's really sad that I'm gonna say holy sh hey, it's it's teasing to me because like God's like hey fuck you you're gonna you're gonna need these people from now on all right all right <laughs> that's what it feels piece like piece of huh? shit you want you want the, you want this ending no eat shit all right but, but it's I really sad because I actually because I actually love these people because like since middle it's like me saying goodbye to your brother or like saying hey saying goodbye to your brother and sisters like saying hey we, we might not meet again but it's fine uh, you know? you're gonna make me cry bro that's that's really that's something wow it's, i mean like, uh, i don't know i guess uh, all we can look to all we can do is just like look forward and like there's some people that they I'm haven't thinking. for through you know quarantine i would say even half if not most people have like I don't want to say worsen, but like as we said, gotten less social and haven't learned much. But I don't know. I, I'd like to think I have appreciated myself a lot more throughout this, and I hope that I can use that in the future. I'm it's definitely a real ending, you know. I'm it's like it's yeah. not an ending, but like it's like a new beginning. It it's an ending is. for a chapter. It's like it's like tearing your old self and beginning your second life. This is who it you really want to be from you become. Like this is who you are now. You know. 
I'm you definitely change. more con I'm definitely more confident and brave now. I can say that. You, yeah, I've been noticing that. The congratulations, by the way. Give a hand, round of applause to Noah. Like I yeah, round of applause for me. You you really had like Noah. I've I've said this. You you. I don't think I've said this before, but like you're you you're now you now match your looks, right? You're actually handsome. You're you're handsome on the inside. You're really confident. You're going. You you have a huge dick on the. You have you have a huge heart boner. I'm not even joking. No, you got like a you got a huge mind boner. I'm, I got a huge got brain a huge and dick. heart boner. <laughs> if my if That's my cool. heart was a boner, it would be fucking long and hard. <laughs> it's true. All right, well we got we got to wrap this shit up. It's been it's been. We gotta wrap for a while. this shit up, baby. We gotta we, wrap we it up with a bow tie. We've talked about a lot today. We've talked about a lot, but but in but in the end, we all just have to remember one thing. You know what that is, Mo? What is it? Subscribe and join the Nyon Nation. And subscribe to the Nyon Nation. Subscribe to Nyon Media, or I will castrate your fucking balls. Stop.